Many people across the world are going to go to special services in church and get a cross put on their head like this. Why are they doing it and what's the significance? Today I'm going to talk to you about what Ash Wednesday is. Right here, right now. Ash Wednesday isn't in the Bible, but it's been recognised in the church since the Council of Nicaea when they understood it's an important date to the start of Lent. Lent used to be only 40 hours at one point, but the Council of Nicaea, they decided that it should be 40 days in Lent, not including the Sunday. Sundays actually get off because it's a celebration of Christ's resurrection on Sunday. So Lent is 40 days, but 46 days with including the Sundays. The Council of Nicaea was in 325 AD, so Ash Wednesday and that first day of Lent has been recognised since then and kind of recognised in many churches around the world. But ashes are actually recognised in the Bible and this is where part of it might come from. Here's some scripture references to say where they are used in the Bible. But it's also taking um, the palm branches that we celebrate the, in the church the previous year, Palm Sunday, burning them and using the ashes for the next year and that is also understanding the verse from Genesis in which it says for dust you are and dust you will return and that is usually said as the cross is put on their head with the ashes um, to remind people that we are but dust and we will return to dust and it's really significant using the palm branches which we use as a celebration on that triumphal entry that were burnt to remind us um, also that we are the dust. And Ash Wednesday is an important day because it's the first day of Lent um, after Shrove Tuesday with the, the kind of eating all the good foods and the pancakes. Um, today the fasting starts and the kind of penitence and the reflection starts of uh, where we're at uh, in our relationship got with God, where we were in the olden days. Um, yesterday you would have got your confession and absolution um, and this is a real period for the next 40 days of being reflective and a lot of people do uh, devotional books over Lent um, a new practice has come in of actually not giving stuff up but starting to do stuff for other people which is really fantastic and great and showing Christ's love in that way and Lent goes all the way up to the, the Passion Week and the Easter week end where it will finally finish and people will then celebrate on obviously on Easter Sunday that's where we get the eggs and things from uh, because people are then allowed to eat if they chose not to have that chocolate and sugar and all those other things. So today even though it's not celebrated in all of the churches around is a, a start and a recognition of that we are dust, we return to dust it's a time of penitence and reflection um, and using the palm branches um, I think is really significant of that triumphal entry but then being burnt down and to remind us of who we are and actually how far we came from that triumphal entry to Good Friday but then the resurrection happened on Easter Sunday which is just amazing and such a blessing for all of us. So I did get rid of my cross but a lot of people will wear it and it, uh, throughout the day and it will just rub off and also what a great witness it is for people just to walk out of church and that symbol as a Christian saying I am a Christian and this is me starting something very special. So that's Ash Wednesday, uh, watch the next video about what is Lent.